Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy Modern J and I am back with another video. So first off, the NBA playoffs is back, basketball is back, and it's been pretty exciting. Now, one person that a lot of people are focused on right now is LeBron James, which I know should be pretty obvious because you know he is LeBron James but a big reason why the spotlight is on LeBron is that he has a real chance of actually winning a NBA title this year but with that being said since the start of the bubble season the Lakers have been struggling a bit I mean they barely managed to beat the Clippers during the seeding games and lost to teams such as the Rockets, Thunder, the Toronto Raptors. Their offense did not look that great and they just looked discombobulated and LeBron and AD haven't been that great overall as well or they haven't performed to a level we usually expect them to on a consistent basis. Now a lot of people did not make a big deal about this because for one the Lakers already clinched the number one overall seed so they were bound to have it no matter what and two of course playoff LeBron but it was still a bit concerning now the playoffs have already started and they lost their first game against the Blazers but they are now up 2-1 and it looks like AD and LeBron are starting to find their rhythm once again but they need to keep it up because if they don't a first round exit could still be very much possible now this playoff push is going to be extremely important for LeBron because this could be his last real chance at winning a NBA title and if he doesn't win a title this year then I don't see him winning another one or it's going to be even harder. So with that being said in today's video I'm going to be talking about three reasons why LeBron needs to win a title this year but before I go any further if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like it helps me and this channel out a lot to reach more people and it only takes like a millisecond. Share and subscribe for more dope NBA content. We're on that grind for 30,000 subscribers and my goal is to hit that by the end of this month. Seems crazy but I can't do it without you guys. And if you want to support me and this channel even further, give your boy a follow on the gram or on Twitter. And don't forget to hit that bell to be notified when I post a brand new fire video. But all that out of the way, let's get right into it. Reason number one, father time. So look, some things will never change. Sometimes you have to face the facts. You can't beat father time. It's bound to catch up to you at some point. And that's the case for LeBron. I know he's always been consistent since his first day in the league, but he's not getting any younger. This season, he was able to put up MVP type numbers, averaging 27 points, 8 rebounds, and 11 assists per game. However, LeBron is 35 going on to 36. And over the years, LeBron has had to adjust his game accordingly to his age. Load management and things along those lines have become a norm. There is a reason why he seems to play even harder and better in the playoffs. It's because he can't keep his feet on the gas all the time anymore. He needs to take his foot off the gas once in a while for an important moment. I get the fact that LeBron still had an amazing year, but I have seen certain moments where the age is starting to catch up to LeBron. LeBron is a special player, but he needs to capitalize now before it's too late. Because the question will come where we have to ask, how long do we really see LeBron playing at this level in the seasons to come? We're talking about father time here, which can't be beaten. You can slow it down, but not beat it. And if he does start declining in the years to come, then it'll make it even harder for LeBron to get a ring and maybe even unlikely. Number two, rising competition. So simply looking at the Western Conference, things aren't going to be getting any easier for LeBron in the coming years. I get the fact that the Lakers were dominant this year, but teams like the Clippers with Kawhi and Paul George and the Rockets with Harden and Westbrook aren't going away anytime soon. You also have young and upcoming teams like the Mavericks with Luka Doncic and Kristaps and the Pelicans with Zion, Ingram and the rest of the crew and not to mention you also have one of the deadliest duels of all time coming back fully healthy next season, the Warriors with Steph Curry and Klay Thompson who are hungry and ready to prove the doubters wrong with Draymond Green. They also have the second pick in the draft this year and they have Wiggins so with a couple of moves they could bring another scary talent to the Bay Area and could be a dangerous team next season. Then there is the Eastern Conference that's stronger than ever before with the Giannis and the Bucks, the Sixers, the Raptors, and you also have another deadly duel coming back fully healthy next season, the Nets with Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving and they will be extremely hungry as well. And you also have the young and upcoming teams like the Miami Heat, so things will not get any easier for LeBron James 
and they'll be getting harder. So the Lakers have to take advantage of their dominance right now in the West while they still can, because no one truly knows if they can be in a similar situation again next season. <laughs> Lastly, number three, this is as good as the Lakers are going to get. So LeBron and the Lakers will have to make the most with what they have right now because things may not be getting any better. The 2020 NBA free agency class isn't that overwhelming. Some of the major names being guys like Draymond, Gordon Hayward, DeMar DeRozan, and Serge Ibaka. And I don't even know if they have what it takes to get some of these guys. And money-wise, the Lakers are pretty deep in financially as well. 53% of their salary cap this year is divided between two players, LeBron James and Anthony Davis. And of course, on paper, that is an all-time great pairing, but it's also very costly. And to combat this, the Lakers signed a lot of players on smaller one-year deals like Rondo, Dwight, J.R. Smith, and the list could go on and on. So right now, it's hard to tell who will and will not be on this team next season, and that could be very tricky. And not to mention, the Lakers have no trading assets outside of LeBron James and Anthony Davis because they literally gave everything they had to the Pelicans to get Anthony Davis. Picks, players, I mean everything. The Lakers gave up their 2019 first round pick, a top 8 protected pick in 2021 which became unprotected in 2022, an unprotected swap in 2023, an unprotected first in 2024, and an unprotected swap in 2025, and their 2019 pick DeAndre Hunter was sent to the Pelicans and subsequently traded to the Atlanta Hawks. So once again, the Lakers don't really have much to bargain, so if they don't win a title this year, then the Lakers future could be very scary. One more thing I wanted to bring up is that Anthony Davis did decline his contract extension for the Lakers this season and will enter free agency next year. Now I get the fact why he did it, because he could possibly get more money, and I mean, the dude is not going to leave LA right now when he just got traded there. Both him and LeBron seem like they have a pretty close relationship and it just won't make sense for him to leave LA. But what if they don't win a title this year? Looking down the line, he might question himself if there's still a real chance of him winning a title in LA, especially as LeBron gets older. So the Lakers really need to capitalize this year or things could get very bad. So this year or title run is extremely important for LeBron because this could possibly be his last chance at winning a title. They are in a position to win it all this year so they need to capitalize on that because there's no telling if they'll be able to be back in the situation again next year. Le LeBron has nothing to prove anymore. He is an all time great no doubt about it but winning a title this year could be the one that takes his legacy to a whole nother level than it already is. So. No matter how you view it, this year is a big year for LeBron James. But with that being said, let me know y'all's thoughts in the comment section below. If LeBron doesn't win a title this year, do you think he'll ever be able to win another one again in his career? And once again, just let me hear your overall thoughts on this video in the comment section below. But with that being said, that is all I got for you guys today. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, share and subscribe for more dope NBA content. We're on that grind for 30,000 subscribers. And don't forget to hit that bell to be notified when I post a brand new fire video and give you a follow on the gram or on Twitter. But with that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you guys later. Peace.